Hello everyone, it's Wanda, Foiling Rock Lady here. I am going to do a tower of Christmas gifts tonight and I wanted to use some new foils that I got, these beautiful plaid, possibly some of these cool new patterns as well. Uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> as we go. So I've got my rock with my pattern. I only used part of this with my image, my traceable. I've got some carbon graphite paper on the back of it and I traced onto my rock um, the boxes and the bow and the ribbon and the um yeah <laughs> anyway mistletoe. It's mistletoe. It's round. I think so that's white berries on mistletoe. Holly has red berries and pointy leaves. Anyways um, so we've got our image here and I'm going to use um, Apple Barrel Marsh Green, Bright Red by Apple Barrel, Jet Black Apple Barrel, uh, Folk Art Treasure Gold 3081E, Mac Art Nail Art Foil Glue, and Mac Art 6 Watt Mini Light, uh, Posca Black 1MR, Disposable Eyeliner Brushes for our glue application, some regular liner brushes, and I used a fingernail dotting tool stylus to trace my image onto the rock. I will have that available if you want to use it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, once you have your image lined, you can do your foil layout. So I think I'm going to use red blue and green yeah i think so uh red blue and green plaid and that'll be beautiful <laughs> traditional anyways <laughs> so i'm gonna just cut my foils here that will make it a lot easier to um deal with I was trying to make up my mind which blue I wanted. <laughs> so I'm going to do blue, red, oh, I hope it bleed. Okay. And then green, like so. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. Okay, I'm going to pour some glue off into my well. Tweezers come in real handy for picking up foils. <laughs> this makes it easier to control your glue. It's real hard if you use this brush, unless you're doing a really big spot. Make sure you have your light ready, plugged in and ready to go. All right, disposable eyeliner brush. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. So I'm actually gonna turn my rock around. Start here. And what I am going to do, because I want it to look like wrapping paper, so I want my pattern to all sort of flow in one direction, I'm going to place my glue all over the package first and then do the whole foil at one time that's why I cut it about the size of each box so yeah fill in your areas with your glue and then do a cure just after so I'll do a side, like an angle. So I'm going to do this side first, and then I'll do this side. hope that makes sense. Need some geometry in here today. Any teachers out there? Lots of teachers out there. I know there's a lot in my group. Don't put the glue on the lines because that separation is really key in giving you the 
depth and definition that foils give. Okay, I'm going to cure this for one minute and then I will apply the foil. Move your glue out of the way of the light. Oops, make sure you got your light plugged in correctly. Okay, one cycle. Okay, so since my pattern is going this direction, I'm just going to line up it this direction also with the foil. Let's see, try to. <laughs> Tricky, tricky. Hmm. Do I want to line it up that way or that? Probably this way. Ah. Oh, darn it. It's okay. We'll have to do a little patch there. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Out at the gate, making mistakes. Okay, that's okay. It came off straight. That's perfect. See here? So when you line up a pattern, see how I have that? A straight line there and it's the it matches right there so I'm going to lay it a little over the top that did not work right okay I'll have to refoil that or re-glue that spot and that's completely fine I'll catch it with this next pass so what you want to do is just add some glue to the area that you need to touch up. And then go ahead with your next area. These brushes come in so handy, can you tell, in these tight corners. Perfect. Take your time. Do not get in a hurry. If you don't show a little patience, you will get that glue everywhere, and it's not forgiving. Also, make sure you're wearing your gloves. See, I'm going to have to cure that. See how my glue's coming out on my rock down there? Okay, I'm going to do a quick cure here. Okay, if you do get glue like that, you can cure it and then take an X-Acto knife and cut it out. You don't want to put your foil on it because then your foil will be part of that too and that's a little harder to deal with okay foil and i'm just gonna try to not exactly how i wanted it but hey it's still blue plaid <laughs> My mathematical skills are not working tonight. There, see, my patch worked. Nice. Okay. Next area. See how I'm holding my rock up so my glue doesn't drip down the side? You can use uh, wedges, makeup wedges, foam pads, sponges. You could roll up a towel. Have your kid hold it. No, I'm just kidding. Put them to work.
This rock is so smooth. This is going on so beautifully. I'm trying to think about a gift box so this edge here is actually the top of the box so I'm gonna do that also but I'm gonna do it in one pass I should have done it with the other you know I think I'll do this part Okay, then cure one cycle. Okay, and I'm gonna go just like that. And I'm using my fingers here tonight to put the pressure on my foils. You want to apply firm, pretty firm pressure. This is a silicone tip nail tool, and this works really great. So if you have one, use it. it. works really, really great. This is also great for applying chrome nail powder and getting that full-on holographic uh, look. Okay, see how beautiful that is? Great application. Should have been doing that all along. It's okay if you go over your paint line. You can add it back in when you do touch-ups after because I know we're all so perfect. <laughs> I have to touch up every single time I paint. So yeah, you just go back in and redo your lines when you're done. No big deal. And then when you do your seal, when you do your top coat, uh, like resin, top coat, or whatever you use, don't use sprays on foils unless you have covered it first with a few coats of Mod Podge or Dura Clear, something to that effect. It will damage them. I still have to do this section, so I will work on my touch-ups in a little bit. It's hard to stop once you start it. Okay. Sorry distracted there. Don't want too much glue because this is a little space here. Okay, do your one cycle cure. Okay, I've cured it and I've tried to line up my patterns here. I did get off over here. I didn't notice that, but it's okay. If you see that you need more foil down there, it didn't come off right, you can put it back on. It's better if you don't pull it all off at once. Just uh, 
put it back on and you try again that's better Okay, let's go to the next color. I'm going to do red in here. There is nothing in that well. <laughs> Keeping an eye on. Okay, so go around and do your gift box sections with your glue and then do your cure and uh, I'll see you back here in just a second for the foil application. Okay, here's part of the red. Just gonna... I'll show you what I did here that's wrong. So at the bottom, I missed a section. And then there's a little section on foils that, on some foils that is clear. I don't know if you can see that. The little edge there that doesn't have any color on it. It still has clear foil on it. So when you do that, it's real hard to come back in and touch it up because there's actually... But, oh, that worked that time. <laughs> well, don't mind me. Anyway, sometimes it'll be clear and you can't put your foil back on it, so you'd have to reapply the glue and work it in there. But that didn't work. That worked okay, I think. Okay. I'm going to do this section over here with the red plaid. And then I'll start into the green. I think I'm going to do the bow, ribbon, and gold. I think that would be really pretty. Okay, I prepped the top portion up here. And I'm going to... Fingers crossed. <laughs> Pray I did it right. This is proving to be a little more challenging than what I originally had thought. Obviously, I'm not good at geometry. Heeks. There'll be a lot of touch up there. If it does that, I don't know if you saw what it did here. Let me show you. I'm looking for a particular brush. The foil more came off than what should have. So it was like a loose flappy piece. See, they turn, they folded down on top of the other one. And they are white because it's actually the back side of the foil. 
You can get a rough brush and try to work those bits off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you gotta get in there with a different tool. But be gentle because foils are delicate. And that one just came right off, which is okay because that's actually not supposed to be there at all. It's part of the ribbon. <laughs> so that worked out in my favor. Okay. Good enough. The rest is touch up with paint. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the green part of my plaid and then I'll be back to show you that application and start in on the bow. Okay, put in the green now. Okay, so in the middle here where I didn't apply, well, that's okay. To, okay, see that flap there? This is a good example. Right there. See it right there? This piece. So you can take your brush and dust that off in a way. When you get those excess pieces like that one. This is just an old brush that I cut down really close to the tip, so it's kind of, it's rough, but not uh, rough, too rough that it damages the integrity of my foil. Okay, so that's definitely a touch-up box, <laughs> and that's okay. So I need to... Look at my, whoops, no light there. I need to look at my picture. Oh, I'm sure you guys have figured out that I really, really can't draw. So when I say that, it's the truth. I cannot draw. But I do accept others' art. So if there's something you would like, for me to do that you drew, I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, you can send it to my messenger on Facebook or leave me a message on YouTube. Collaborations are always, always fun and always welcome. I think we're good there. What's this? Ah, it is a piece of mistletoe. <laughs> and then this corner right here. By golly, I think I got it. What do you think, guys? I think we did it. Look at how cute is that? <laughs> Plaid presents. Yay. So I have a really cool piece of gold foil. 
I was going to paint it gold, but I think I'm going to foil it gold because I'm the foil lady and I foil. So I'm going to pause you. I'll be right back. If you have been foiling for a little while, you have amassed a bag of stuff. <laughs> this is random loose foils. <laughs> Used some different ones. At uh, one time, I got this kit. See these foil? These are very rare. Not, not that this foil is rare, but this style. It's a big square of foil. This was for a kid's foil thing. <laughs> Anyways, I got it because the foil is so pretty and it's big and you can do bigger projects at once. Anyways, I want to use this gold here because it's so beautiful. It's like laser gold. So I'll just grab that out of there. And cut off a piece. and cut I might need some new scissors okay I think that'll go over the yeah so just so you guys know what I'm doing I am going to do the gold Put the glue on the entire ribbon and do it in one shot here like that so i'll be right back with you when i am done curing that glue and then we'll put this on together okay ready set go okay it's ready wish me luck here we go oil on And pray. <laughs> Smooth it out. I think it looks good I can't tell <laughs> but we're gonna pull it off slowly so that if we missed a spot we can fix it right then in there now there's a chance that some of this is gonna stick to our other work hopefully not but sometimes it does if you have any wet paint or any exposed glue spots that you didn't get the other foil on. This foil is very, very delicate, so it's a lot thinner than the others I was working with. Okay, here we go, slowly. I'm gonna have you watch here. So you can see the foil left on the plastic, the dots there, those need to go back down in and be pressed into our bow. See if they'll stay. Anything we can get to stay. Try to get it back down like that. Bubbles are not your friend, so if you have bubbles in your glue, try to move them off to the side of your uh, project, because bubbles will leave holes. But isn't that pretty? 
Okay, now that we've got that done, you can do your touching up around your bow. And then we'll paint our mistletoe. So pretty. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just really straightening up this gold. Making it look more straight like a ribbon. coming together. like a puzzle, huh? I'm good with that. Now we'll just do the little bit of the, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it Hollywood. It's mistletoe, mistletoe, mistletoe. And you know, I got the red out because I was going to do the bow red, but I think Holly, I mean mistletoe, I think is white. The berries on mistletoe, I think is white. Hmm. I don't know, where do I have that backwards? I'm going to paint them red anyways. You know, mistletoe is kind of that grayish green color. So that's what I'm going with. This is marsh green. 
my apple barrel. I think I put an extra few leaves in there, <laughs> but it's okay. And I want to thank D. Daigle for the art, um, for sending me this beautiful art. Um, and Margie, she does water slide printout. She has a wonderful tutorial about the water slide application which I have another one of this exact um, stack of gifts on water slide and I'll be doing that on another day um, hopefully to show you guys how water slides look on the rock I won't go over how to do one but I'll show you how we can paint right on top of them in a future one so there is that. Let's do the red for the berries. So if you're interested in that water slide tutorial, it's by Margie Brody at Rockin' Our Art on Facebook. Hashtag ROA will get you there. And then uh, once you're there, look for Margie Brody water slide tutorial. Water slide is basically a tattoo that you put on a rock. And I can show you an example here. Here's one. This has been printed onto a special paper and then treated with some spray and then allowed to dry. And then you will drop this in a bowl of water and then this image will slide right off this paper onto your rock. So obviously you trim it real close. So it's sort of like a temporary tattoo. And you apply it to your rock and... Um, let it dry, put a top coat, like a matte top coat on it and start painting. You got to let it dry really, really well before you paint it, but it works really great. I'm just now starting to work with them, so, but I think it's going to save a lot of time tracing and lining for those of us who can't draw. Or those of us who don't have the time, or I don't know. I like the possibilities that it that it brings. Endless possibilities. Okay, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> All done. Look at that beauty. If you've painted along with me, sign your work. Make sure you sign your art. You know, when you're famous, people will know who you are. I'm going to sign mine. There you go. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. If you liked what you saw here today, please, please hit the like and the subscribe. And if you'd like to see uh, more content when I'm uploading, uh, hit that bell and it will notify you when I've made a post. Thank you so much. Come visit us at hashtag ROA on Facebook.